It is 6.30 a.m. and Tandolwetu and Lisakanya are preparing to go to school. Their mom, the only breadwinner, prepares them lunch. Most of her spare cash goes towards their transport. For the past five years, scholar transport has been a problem. It is a 24-kilometer round trip. I am always scared when they go to school because I don't know how safe they are. Anyone can just stop and pretend to give them a lift but harm them. But I have no choice but to send them to hitchhike because there is no transport to take them. I am also struggling for the hitchhike money because I spend 80 rands a day. It's a lot for someone like me who doesn't have a stable job. This is really bad. Today they are lucky. They are picked up quickly. Others were not so fortunate. It's so tough for us. We have been here since 6.30 and now it's nearly 7.30 and still no one to take us to school. We get to school late all the time and they even labeled us as the latecomers because they know our problem. Some days we wait here in the sun for two hours. These pupils have been trying to get a lift for over an hour. It's not nice to hitchhike to school because your safety is never guaranteed. We are always scared because we never know if we'll make it to school alive. While someone drives, we look outside the window, checking if they are still taking us to school. I hate waking up so early just to wait here for hours. Many of my friends wait for a few hours and then go back home. It's a relief for them to arrive early. Coming in the mornings, also the problem, it's like they will arrive at 9 o'clock or past 9. Remember in Ukuti, if we say 9 o'clock, the first period already has lapsed. They have missed the first period of those grades, Abakuzona. And that means the day's work for that particular subject, they have lost it. Now they have to catch up. So it is a challenge that we're facing with. At the start of the school year, the Department of Transport asked schools to submit their transport needs. The transport that was being used by the pupils had to be taken off the road due to non-compliance. That as the department, we don't compromise the compliance to any service provider. That service provider did not have a valid tax uh, certificate, which made us not to continue with the, giving him the work. We requested him to go and cor cor uh, correct and uh, comply with SARS regulation. The department cannot compromise the quality of work and compliance in whatever work we are doing. We currently are transporting uh, more than 85,000 learners. Of course, there is a need. We cannot run away from that fact, but the challenge is that uh, there are more learners, learners change schools without informing the department uh, rationalization and sometimes where we never planned better than service providers. The process of rerouting service providers to the new schools uh, is, is, is done now. Then the other thing is, is that we are having more than 30,000 learners whom we are unable to transport because of financial resources. The department says the changing of schools by learners without notifying the department was one of the massive challenges. If you can just look behind me, my cameraman Marcus will show you. Behind us is the bus stop that the kids will wait for again after school for about two hours or three hours. Probably only get home at about half past four, waiting again for a car to pass by and give them a lift back home. If you see again to the right, it's quite a quiet area, a lot of cars coming past, but also quite a dangerous area. About four to five kids just this year alone have been robbed in the street as they're waiting to be hitchhiked back home. And it's not safe and parents again have to live in fear and hoping, only hoping that they can Kids will make it back home safely. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Human Store.